Hello mathematicians. So today we see one uh, nice problem asked in CSIR in June 2013. It is a part B problem. Uh, it is about uh, diagonalizability and uh, characteristic polynomial of uh, matrices. Let, let me phrase the question. Let A be an N by N matrix with a real entries. Which of the following is correct? Okay. So if A square equal to 0, then A is diagonalizable over complex numbers. Okay, we'll go option by option. So any matrix that satisfies a power k equal to 0 is said to be a nilpotent matrix. Okay, so uh, in uh, we have made three videos on uh, diagonalizability of matrices. The title of the matrix is CSIR problems on uh, diagonalizable matrices part 1 part 2 part 3 okay in uh, all these three videos uh, links discrete uh, links i have given in the description of this video in the first video we proved that if a matrix if a matrix if it is a non diagonal matrix and it has its all eigen values are equal then it is not diagonalizable okay so if you take any nilpotent matrix non diagonal nilpotent matrix okay then uh, non diagonal nilpotent matrix then it's all its eigenvalues are yeah you take any nilpotent matrix then its eigenvalues are all equal to zero you can see the proof in the part one of the video then if, if all the so it means that all the eigenvalues of a nilpotent matrix is zero okay so any nilpotent matrix has equal eigenvalues zero 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 okay so from our result if a mat if a non diagonal matrix has its all the eigenvalues are equal such a matrices are not diagonalizable over you can consider any field it will not be diagonalizable okay therefore if the matrix satisfies a square equal to 0 then uh, if it is a zero matrix then it is diagonalizable of course okay any diagonal matrix is diagonal diagonalizable but uh, this statement they are asking if you, you, you take a non diagonal matrix satisfying a square equal to 0 basically consider a non diagonal nilpotent matrix okay if you consider a diagonal nil the only diagonal nilpotent matrix is the zero matrix okay so basically you have to look at a non zero nilpotent matrix then it will not be diagonalizable over complex numbers okay so therefore first option is wrong uh, but uh, it is very important to know the proof of uh, the fact that if a non diagonal matrix has all the eigenvalues are equal then it is not diagonalizable because that proof will, you can use it in uh, other problems also so please check part one of the video i have given the time also at what time you can see the proof in the description so you can check there let's move to the second problem so a satisfies a square equal to identity okay so a, a square equal to identity it means that a satisfies the polynomial x square minus 1 equal to 0 okay but what are the roots of this polynomial x square minus 1 the roots of the polynomial are plus 1 and minus 1 and uh, x square minus 1 can be written as x plus 1 and x minus 1 okay Therefore, the minimal polynomial splits into distinct linear factors over R. Why over R? Because these two numbers are real numbers. These two numbers are real numbers. Therefore, it splits into distinct linear factors over R. So, if a matrix uh, whose minimal polynomial is uh, splitting, splitting, split into distinct linear factors over R, then the matrix is diagonalizable over R. Again, this is also discussed in uh, our uh, part 2 of the video so please check so this statement is true now same prop, same uh, option if a square equal to a then a is diagonalizable only over complex number only over complex number means that uh, uh, it is not diagonalizable over any subfields of complex number but we just saw it is diagonalizable over r therefore this option is wrong okay okay let's come to the very interesting fourth option the only matrix of size n satisfying the characteristic polynomial of a is a okay so what is the meaning of this statement so for example uh, like we, we consider this matrix 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 
1 minus 1 0 okay what is the characteristic polynomial of uh, this matrix it will be x square plus 1 okay if you take a equal to this matrix its characteristic polynomial will be x square plus 1 they are saying that this is the only matrix uh, only matrix whose characteristic polynomial is x square plus 1 but that is not true because what we know is uh, similar matrices have the same characteristic polynomial okay so you have the matrix a and you have another matrix b b is said to be similar to a if you can find the invertible matrix p such that b equal to p a p inverse then we see that we say that uh, b is a similar matrix to a or a is a similar matrix to b in both way we say okay so suppose b is a matrix similar to a then we claim that characteristic polynomial of b is equal to characteristic polynomial of a okay let's see why so characteristic polynomial of b equal to determinant of lambda i minus b that is a formula now b equal to p a p inverse i just substituted now this lambda i is a scalar matrix okay so scalar matrix means it is a diagonal matrix with all the diagonal entries are equal okay so scalar matrices commutes with all the matrices therefore yeah, you take p p inverse times lambda i okay now this is a scalar matrix scalar matrix commutes with all the matrix so you can uh, change this p inverse lambda i into into lambda i times p inverse okay so basically i have changed i have interchanged these two matrices so p p inverse is the identity so we get the lambda i equal to so in front of lambda i i have uh, this is identity matrix so i can insert identity matrix here but the, since this matrix and this matrix commute lambda i commutes with all the matrices because it is a scalar matrix okay so okay now this p i and lambda i we have interchanged and we get lambda i equal to p lambda i p inverse so for this lambda i i have substituted p lambda i p inverse so we take out this p common in the left side this p inverse in the right side so we get p times lambda i minus a times p inverse okay you just multiply p p inverse this side you'll get this expression okay now what we get determinant of product of matrices Pro determinant of the product of matrices equal to product of the determinant so we get uh, determinant of p into determinant of lambda i minus a into determinant of p inverse but determinant of p inverse equal to 1 by determinant of p therefore uh, this number is a reciprocal of this number so they cancel each other we left with only determinant of lambda i minus a but determinant of lambda i minus a is the expression for characteristic polynomial a okay so we conclude that uh, this option is false because there are uncountably many matrices you take any invertible matrix and you uh, you conjugate the matrix a by any invertible matrix the resulting matrix will have the same characteristic polynomial as a okay therefore the option 4 is wrong okay so this concludes the problem i hope you understand and please check my part 1 part 2 part 3 videos on diagonalizable matrices problems related to diagonalizable matrices okay guys Thank you. I'll meet you in some other problem.